are the only God that we know. Wewe ndiwe Mungu wa pekee tunayemjua. You created the heavens mbingu, and the earth. Na ardhi. Then you created us in your, in your own image. Basi ukatuumba katika mfano wako. Jehovah Elkana. Jehovah Elkana. You alone. Wewe pekee. You have prepared us today. Umetuandaa leo. To be in your presence. Kuwa katika uwepo wako. In the presence of the Lord. Katika uwepo wa Bwana. Mighty God. Mungu mkuu. I now ask you God. Na kuomba sasa. To come in a very special way. Uje katika njia speciali. In a very unique way. Katika njia ya kipekee. And touch these people. Na ukaguze watu hawa. Unconditionally. Pasipo kuwa na ubaguzi wa wote. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God and my Savior. Mungu wangu na mkombozi wangu. You said Ulisema, that if or t- uh, if two or three people ikiwa wawili ama watu watatu are going to gather in my name watakusanyika katika jina langu I shall descend and be in their midst. Nitashuka na kuwa katikati yao. My God. Mungu wangu. You are the Lord who removed me from the humble background. Wewe ndiwe Mungu uliyenitoa katika Yaani kale ya unyenyekevu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God and you said. Na Mungu wangu ukasema I do not call the qualified. Hauiti walio stahili. But I qualify the called. Lakini unawastahilisha wanao unaowaita. I'm not qualified yet. Mimi sijahikimu bado. To stand before your altar. Kusimama mbele ya watu wako. The altar of the Lord. Madhabahu ya Mungu. Right now my God. Sasa hivi Mungu wangu. As I raise my hands to, before you. Napoinua mikono yangu mbele zako. May you open the heavens today. Ukafungue mbingu leo. So that we may serve you under the open heavens of the lord ili tukaweze kutumikia chini ya mbingu iliyo wazi ya bwana ewe ya we you have prepared us today umetuandaa leo to hear from you Kutu, kusikia kutoka kwako to learn from you kujifunza kutoka kwako to learn your ways kujifunza njia zako in the mighty name of jesus katika jina kuu la yesu lord i pray and also believe baba naomba na pia kuamini amen and amen 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 let us clap to the lord It is well. Thank you so much. It is well, my brother. It is well. Thank you so very much. Asante sana. Uh, today, Ibileo, the Lord gave me uh, the message. Ujumbe. Long time ago, pale kale, about the firstborns of Israel. Jia wazaliwa wa kwanza wa Israeli. And how the Lord related with his people. Na kama vile Mungu alivyoshirikiana na watu hawa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the the firstborns of Israel. Hivyo basi wazaliwa wa kwanza wa Israeli. Are going to feature in today's teaching prominently. Wanaenda kuonekana sana katika mafundisho ya leo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So in the Hebrew Bible, katika Biblia ya Kiebrania, the firstborn son is the one who inherits his father's position as head of the family Mzaliwa wa kwanza ndiye anaerithi mali ya baba kama kichwa cha familia The first son receives the double portion Mzali. of his father's inheritance Kijana wa kwanza anapokea sehemu ya kwanza ya baba yake kama urithi When the Lord remembered Abraham Wakati Mungu alimkumbuka Abraham Then he came and spoke with Moses Akaja akazungumza na Musa In Exodus 3 Katika kutoka 3 6 to 7 Sita hadi 7 Let us read the Bible There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Moses saw that though the bush was not on fire, it did not burn up. So Moses thought, I will go over and see this strange sight why the bush does not burn up. And then uh, verse 4 uh, when the when the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called him from within the bush. Moses Moses and Moses said here I am do not come any closer God God said take off your sandals for the place where you you are is a holy ground then he said I am the God of your father the God of Jacob at this at this Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God seven The Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have heard them crying out because of their slave drivers, and I am concerned about their suffering. Hallelujah. Amen. And then let us go quickly in Exodus 11. Kutoka 11. In Exodus 11. So when the Lord spoke with Moses, Wakati Mungu alizungumza na Musa, he wanted to have a relationship 
alitaka kuwa na uhusiano with the children of Israel na watoto wa Israeli haleluya the lord cannot have relationship with you without the breach Mungu hawezi kuwa na uhusiano na wewe pasipokuwa ile daraja. So he used Moses as the bridge. Kama ile daraja. As the link. Kama kiunganishi. To the Lord. Kwa Bwana. Very powerful. Very very powerful. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the Lord told Moses. Basi Mungu akamwambia Musa that I had desired ya kwamba nimetamani to establish kufanya thabiti unshakeable relationship uhusiano ambao hautingiziki with the children of Israel na watoto wa Israeli but now lakini sasa since i have remembered sasa nimekumbuka my covenant agano langu with the children of Israel na watoto wa Israeli i am sending you now ninakutuma sasa go and tell pharaoh nenda ukamwambia pharaoh to let my people go aachilie watu wangu wawe huru hallelujah hallelujah then when moses went to pharaoh wakati Musa alimwendea pharaoh you will realize is that in this teaching of today unatambua kwamba katika mafundisho haya leo the voice of the lord is fluctuating yani ile sauti ya bwana kuna vile inashuka na kupanda now he is telling moses hivi sasa anamwambia msa i have sent you nimekutuma to tell pharaoh kumwambia pharaoh to leave my people kuachilia watu wangu to let my people go kuachilia watu wangu so that they can worship me ili waweze kuniabudu hallelujah now the lord is saying my people sasa bwana anasema watu wangu my people watu wangu my first son Yaani wazaliwa wangu wa kwanza. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is what the Lord was actually telling Moses. Hivyo ndivyo Mungu alikuwa anamwambia Musa. But the Lord said, Kini Mungu akasema, I cannot have this relationship. Siwezi kuwa na uhusiano huu. I need a breach. Nahitaji daraja. So he set aside. Hivyo basi akaweka kando. Or, or he divided, he subdivided. Yaani akagawanisha a subgroup. Hivi kundi. Then he said, Kasema, consecrate to me. Yaani nitakasie the first sons wa kwanza of Israel wa Israeli hallelujah hallelujah calm down calm down we are we are coming let me read first acha nisome hallelujah amen. amen and i'm reading exodus 12 verse 12 kutoka 12 mstari wa 12 on that same night i will pass through egypt and strike down every firstborn both men and animals and i will bring judgment on all the gods of egypt i am the lord hallelujah amen then i am reading exodus 12 uh, exodus 12 verse 29 kutoka 12:29 verse 29 let me check all right at midnight the lord struck down all the firstborn of egypt from the first one of Pharaoh who sat on the throne to the first one of the prisoner who was in the dungeon and the first one of all the livestock as well hallelujah amen hallelujah amen so we see that now the lord told moses that i'm going to egypt yani mungu akamwambia musa sasa nitaenda misri i am going to shak ninaenda kuitingiza the gods of pharaoh miungu wa farao then i am going to strike down naenda kuangamiza the first one wazaliwa wa kwanza of egypt wa misri then when he is actually struck down the first ones wakati ambapo aliangamiza wazaliwa wa kwanza he set apart akatenga kando the first sons of israel wazaliwa wa kwanza wa israel to stand before the lord to worship the lord to bless the land wabariki hey, nchi hey, hey, hallelujah 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 amen to bless the land wakabariki nchi that's why i told you ndio maana nilikwambia he called these people aliwaita watu hawa to act as priests wakakuwa kama makuhani hallelujah amen to bless the land wabariki nchi to stand before the lord wasimame mbele za bwana hallelujah amen. so the lord actually moved these people hivyo basi mungu akawatoa watu from, e- from egypt kutoka misri then he ran with them na akakimbia na wao when he ran with them alipokimbia na wao then he said akasema my voice is going to become your Voice. Yani sauti yangu itafanyika sauti yako. So we have seen. Hivyo basi tumeona. That the Lord said, Mungu alisema, Now. Sasa, I set apart this group and consecrate to me. Yani nimetenga kando kikundi hiki na mkitakase. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to read in Exodus what happened. Tunaenda kusoma katika kutoka kilichofanyika. Because the Lord came in his glory. Kwa sababu Bwana alikuja katika utukufu wake. He fed them. Akawalisha. He actually moved behind. Then he troubled. The armies of Pharaoh. Trying to protect his children. Look at that. Look at that. Nairobi. Hallelujah. 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 So the Lord went there. Then actually he said, Akasema, "Now you are going to see my glory." Sasa mnaenda kuwa na utukufu wangu. Because you have been consecrated. Maana mmetakaswa. No one can dare come near. Hakuna yote anaweza kuwasogea. Apart from you. Kando na nyinyi. Hallelujah. Amen. Now we are reading what happened. Tunasoma kilichotendeka. Because the Lord had actually invested in these people. Maana hakika Bwana alikuwa tayari ameweka rasilimali katika watu. He invested his love. Yaani aliweka upendo wake. Invested his care. Akaweka ile kujali kwake. Hallelujah. Amen. Now we are reading Exodus. Tunasoma kutoka 32 32 verse 8 mstari wa 8 so the lord came and when he set these people aside wakati bwana alikuja na wakati alikuwa he came and told moses kamwambia musa I need your presence on the mountain. Nahitaji uwepo wako katika mlima. Because we have different levels of anointing. Maana tuna viwango tofauti vya upako. Hallelujah. Amen. We can all be pastors. Wote tunaweza kuwa wachungaji. We can all be prophets. Tunaweza kuwa wote manabii. By the level of fluctuates. Yaani lakini kile kiwango hakitoshani. Really really it really fluctuates. Yaani hakitoshani. So do not equate yourself to somebody else. Hivyo basi usijitoshanishe na mtu mwingine. Do not be a copycat. Wewe usijifananishe na mwingine. Hey, hey, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now you see here. Sasa unaona hapa. When Moses was on the mountain. Wakati Musa alikuwa mlimani. Then these people spoke to themselves. Hao watu wakajinenea. Then they said. Wakasema, we want the God that we can see. Tunataka Mungu tunaweza kumuona. The God who can go before us. Mungu anayeweza kwenda mbele zetu. Who can fight for us. Anayeweza kutupigania. We do not need an invisible God. Tunataka Mungu asiyeonekana. But a private God. Lakini Mungu ambaye tunamuona. Hallelujah. Amen. Then they forced Aaron. Hivyo wakamlazimisha to form a golden calf yani kutengeneza so, 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 so that these people may actually worship this idol ili watu hao wakaweze kuabudu sanamu hii hona this idol waweze kuheshimu sanamu hii hallelujah 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 then when the lord actually called moses wakati ambapo mungu alimuita musa then the camp became chaotic yani pale chini kukawa na people were fighting watu walikuwa wanapigana sauti utatoka hallelujah amen Hallelujah. Amen. Now, sasa When the Lord when Moses was in the mountain praying and asking the Lord with Joshua his assistant Yaani wakati ambapo Musa yuko pale mlimani anaomba akimuita Mungu pamoja na na Joshua msaidizi wake These people choreographed Yaani hao watu wakaungana na kutengeneza kufanya kitu Yes they arranged choreographed Hallelujah Amen They choreographed a very powerful orgy Yaani wakapanga yaani mwanzo mkuu Hallelujah Amen They choreographed walipanga tukio la kisherati amen haleluya amen haleluya amen the choreograph the very powerful og yani wakatengeneza tukio la kiaja la kisherati very good haleluya amen where they were drinking wakati ambapo walikuwa nalewa where they were indulging themselves in all manner of orgies yani mahali ambapo walikuwa wanajiingiza katika kila aina ya vyote they actually for cotton walikuwa wamesahau where the lord had removed them from mahali ambapo mungu amewatoa haleluya haleluya you are going to see now the voice of the lord changing here unaenda kuona sasa sauti ya bwana ikibadilika hapa he said my people pale alisema watu wangu then when the lord heard that wakati ambapo bwana alisikia hivyo let us did i read uh, 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 exodus 32 verse 8 no i think so i don't think so 32 verse 8 toka 32 mstari wa 8 All right, we are reading in the mighty name of Jesus. Nasoma kwa jina kuu la Yesu. Hallelujah. Amen. When people saw that Moses was no longer uh, was so long in coming down from the mountain, they gathered around Aaron and said, "Come, make us gods. You will go before us. As for this fellow Moses, look at that, who brought us up out of Egypt. We don't know what has what has happened to him." Aaron answered take off the gold earrings that your wife that rings that your wives your sons and your daughters are wearing and bring them to me so all the people took off their earrings and they brought them and brought them to Aaron he took what they handed him and made it 
into an idol cast in the shape of a cow, fashioning it with a, with a tool. They say, these are your gods, O Israel, who brought you up out of Egypt. Hallelujah. Amen. Read my sister. We want to accommodate everybody. Yani kutoka 32 tumeanzia mstari wa kwanza Biblia imesema hata watu walipoona ya kuwa Musa amekawia kushuka kutoka mlima wakakusanyana wakamwendea Haruni wakamwambia haya katuta, katufanyi, katufanyizie miungu itakayokwenda mbele yetu kwa maana Musa huyo aliyetutoa katika nchi ya Misri hatujui yaliyompata Haruni akawaambia zivunjeni pete za dhahabu zili, zilizo katika masikio ya wake zenu na wana wenu na binti zenu mkaniletee watu wote wakazivunja pete za dhahabu zili, zili, zilizo katika masikio yao wakamletea Haruni akaipokea mikononi mwao akaitengeneza kwa patasi akaifanya iwe sanamu ya ndama kwa kuiyeyusha nao wakasema hiyo ndiyo miungu yao e Israeli iliyowatoa katika nchi ya Misri hey 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 Hey. They literally for God. Yani walisahau kabisa. The Lord who removed them Mungu aliyewatoa from Egypt. Kutoka pale Misri. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then they raised this idol. Wakainua sanamu hii. Then they worship that idol. Wakaiabudu sanamu hii. In the in the in the absence of God. Yani uka, pasipo uwepo wa Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. Then they were dancing. Walikuwa wanacheza pale. They were dancing. Walikuwa wanacheza pale. They were dancing. Walikuwa wanacheza pale. And hailing the God. Wakipigia kelele ile. And honoring the God. Wakiheshimu ile Mungu. Forgetting the Lord Jehovah. Wakisahau Mungu Jehovah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then suddenly. Kwa ghafla. The voice of the Lord roared on the mountain. Sauti ya Bwana ikatoka kwa pale mlimani. Hallelujah. Amen. Then he told Moses, I'm not going to read actually. The someone is here. Actually, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then he told Moses, Akamwambia Musa, You are people. Watu wako. Ameruka ajaruka. Ameruka. Wewe. We. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Lord literally changed the tune. Yaani Bwana akabadilisha ile sauti. Then he said to himself, Akajiambia, since you have trampled, trampled yani kwa sababu mmekanyagia upon my masses juu ya rehema zangu because there you are under iron fist of Pharaoh maana pale mlikuwa katika miguu ya farao and that slavery na utumwa wake and i came with my own power na nikakuja kwa nguvu zangu then i took my glory nikachukua utukufu wangu then i removed you nikawatoa from egypt kutoka pale misri to serve me kumnitumikie to stand before me nisimame mbele zangu to stand in between the people and the lord yani msimame kati ya watu na But you have forgotten. Lakini mmesahau. You regarded my law. Yaani mmeachilia sheria yangu. And my command. Na amri yangu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to see. We are going to see here. Tunaenda kuona hapa. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Then then uh, we are now going to read in numbers. Tunaenda kusoma katika hesabu. Because when you read in the scripture, unaposoma katika maandiko, you will not hear the mention of the Levites. Hautasikia kutajwa kwa walawi. No Levites. Hakuna mlawi. When he came and trouble the gods of Pharaoh there. Wakati alikanyagia pale miungu ya farao. There are no mention of 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 of, of the Levites. Hakuna kule kutajwa kwa walawi. But look. Lakini tazama. We are reading. Tunasoma. Numbers. Hesabu. Chapter. Numbers. Hesabu tatu tunasoma katika kitabu cha hesabu mlango wa tatu kuanzia mstari wa 4 Hesabu tatu kumi na mbili Biblia inasema hivi Mimi tazama nimewatoa walawi na kuwatoa kati ya wana wa Israeli badala ya wazaliwa wa kwanza wote wafungu wao tumbo katika wana wa Israeli na hao walawi watakuwa wangu. Uh, Numbers chapter 3 verse 12. Now beyond I myself have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel instead of every firstborn who opens the womb among the children of Israel. Therefore the Levites shall be mine. Look at that. Tazama hiyo. Have you heard the Lord mention the firstborn? Mmesikia Bwana akitaja wazaliwa wa Where? Wapi? Where? So that is why we holiness subscribers. Yaani sisi ambao wanafuata utakatifu. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I think you are seeing a distinction. Nadhani kwamba unaona yani kule kulikuwa na utofauti ile mpaka. Look at that. Tazama hiyo. When the Lord came to Egypt. Wakati Mungu alikuja Misri. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. He brought. 
alileta a distinction between the people of Egypt kati ya watu wa and his people na watu wake there was light on the side of his people kwa and there wake, was big darkness na na on the side of the Egyptian ile pande ya, ya misri Hallelujah. Amen. That is why we are saying we are holiness subscribers. Sisi ni wale wafuata utakatifu. Hey, hey. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are saying Tunasema, do not show your flesh on the street. Yaani usioneshane uchi wako kwenye barabara. Look at that. Tazama Hallelujah. Hiyo. Hallelujah. Then we are saying Tunasema, do not show your flesh and sell your flesh on the streets of Nairobi. Yaani usiuze mwili wako vile kwa mitaa ya Nairobi. New York City. This book here Kitabu hiki hapa The Holy Bible Yaani Biblia takatifu is the constitution of the church Ndio ndio agano la kanisa If the Lord is saying Bwana anasema If the Lord is saying Kama Bwana anasema I have brought a distinction Nimeweka ule utofauti between the people of the world kati ya watu wa dunia and my own people Na watu wangu mwenyewe And you are working as a prostitute Na unataka kama kahaba Kwa nini Eh Eh Wewe Eh Hallelujah. 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 This is the message to the pastors. Yaani hii ni ujumbe kwa wachungaji. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You cannot afford with your woman walking street naked. Yaani huwezi street naked. Yaani mke wako anatembea pale barabarani uchi. But you are saying Hili unasema the wife to the Lord Christ Jesus. Yaani mke wa Kristo should just walk naked. Shame on you. Shame on you. If you want the church of the Lord to prostitute Kama unataka kanisa la Bwana basi likafanye uko the world na dunia let your wife begin prostituting fast Wacha basi mke wako kwanza aende na ukahaba and leave the people of the Lord alone Na wacha watu wa Mungu Hallelujah Hallelujah That is why we are saying Ndio maana tunasema You have seen worship team here Mmeona kikundi cha kuabudu hapa Hallelujah Hallelujah Both men and women Wote waume kwa wakati You have seen myself here Mmeona hapo pia Hallelujah Amen Hallelujah Amen John is here Yohana yuko hapa. My brother Mameso is here. Baba yetu Mameso yuko hapa. Hallelujah. Amen. Have you do you see a distinction somewhere? Kunaona kunaona ule utofauti? Do you see a distinction somewhere? Yaani kunaona ule kuna ule utofauti. Hallelujah. 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 Welcome. Karibu. To the end time train of the Lord. Yaani katika yaani ile train ya mwisho ya Bwana. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then the Lord now replace these people. Yaani Mungu anawabadilisha watu hawa. Don't love I'm coming for you. Wait, Na I'm kuchu. coming for you holy subscribers. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then he said, Anasema, Today. Leo. Today. Leo. I have replaced you. Nimewabadilisha. Then he gave orders. Akapeana ma, a, akapeana amri. To the children of Israel. Kwa watoto wa Israeli. Then he said. Kasema, the labor should not own any land. Yaani walawi wasikuwe na shamba lolote. No fat bank account. Wasikuwe yani na account zozote za benki. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Oh, wasikuwe yani na, na account zilizo nono. Very good. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Have fat bank account. Yani, You, you normally pile your money in the bank pile your money in the bank Unaweka pale fedha zako yani katika banki pale unaweka tu When your neighbor is actually going hungry you have money in your bank Yani jirani yako analala njaa lakini umejaza pesa kwenye benki Hallelujah Hallelujah So Hivyo basi The Lord said Bwana akasema They should not own anything Wasiwe na chochote I Jehovah Mimi Jehovah I have become their inheritance Mimi nimefanyika hey! urithi wao Hey Hallelujah Hey Hey Wewe. Mhm. The Lord say, "When I say ma, I have become. Mimi nimefanyika. Their inheritance. Urithi wao. Look at that. Mm-hmm. So what we are getting from this revelation? Kila ambacho tunapata kutoka kwa ufunuo huu. The God Jehovah. Bwana Jehovah. When he replaced these people. Wakati aliwabadilisha watu hao. He said, "Alisema, ah 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 Are you ready? Je mko tayari? Am I crushing you very well? Very very well. Yaani nakusikia ga vizuri. Are you hurt? Eh unasikia kuumia? Okay, you are not hurt. Anybody who is hurt with this message? Because if you say I'm hurt, I'm going to go deeper and deeper and deeper. Eh I'm going to add soul on that wound. Nenda kuongeza chumvi kwenye kile kidonda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are coming. Tunakuja. Yes, we are coming. Tunakuja. And we are going to the kingdom of God. Tunaenda katika ufalme wa Bwana. We are entering. Tunaingia. The most holy place. Watakatifu pa watakatifu. We are not going to serve the Lord. Hatuendi kumtumikia Bwana. In the outer court. Pale nje tu. We are going to enter. Tunaenda kuingia. The most holy place. Watakatifu pa watakatifu. And in the holy of holies. Na watakatifu pa watakatifu. We worship there. Kuabudu pale. Na kwa kuabudu pale. Amen. In a very prudent way. Katika njia. Kwa njia ya kibusara. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Then we are now reading this scripture. The Lord said I have become the inheritance. Uridhi wao. The rights that you have been enjoying you firstborns. Yaani zile haki ambazo mmekuwa mkizifurahia kwa sababu ya kwanza. I have now withdrawn them. Sasa nimeziondoa. You can no longer stand before me. Hamwezi tena kusimama mbele zangu. Hallelujah. Amen. Now you see people saying, "Oh, the Lord does, doesn't care how you look." Hey, oh, God doesn't, doesn't care how you look and how you go before the church and how you worship him. The Lord is only interested with your heart. But when you are sick, you are telling the Lord, "Heal my body." Stop being hypocrite. Acha kujifanya. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are saying Nasema, God does not look at my body. Yaani Mungu haangalii mwili wangu. If you have not circumcised your eyes. Kama hujatahiri macho yako. Leave me alone. Niache peke yangu. Here? 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 Then Alafu, you are going before the God, unenda, the God of, of heavens, and you are singing worship, worship, worship to the Lord. Unaimba, yani kwa kwa and the worship team, Na and the worship, worship team and the evangelist here, yani wa na wa hapa, oh, they are in very, very, very great problem. Wako great shida problem. Ku, shida Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Stop this halotary worship in the church. Acha huku kuabudu kwa ukahaba kanisani. Hallelujah. Amen. If the Lord said I have to see the light on your side, let it be light there. Yaani kama Mungu amesema acha nione mwangaza upande wako, basi wacha kuwe mwangaza. You cannot be a two-legged Christian. Yaani hauwezi kuwa mkristo mara mbili. So he said I am going to be there. Inheritance. Akasema nitaenda kufanyika urithi wao. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They are now going to bear my name. Wanaenda sasa kulibeba jina langu. They are going to bear my covenant. Wanaenda kubeba agano langu. They are going to execute my 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 mandate. Yaani wanaenda kukamilisha makusudio yangu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then the Lord said. Bwana akasema. Hey. Hey. If you earn 100,000. Kama unapata shilingi 1,100. Detect ondoa a tank of your salary sehemu ya kumi, and it will go to my levites na itaenda kwa walawi wangu so the lord is saying hivyo basi bwana anasema hallelujah hallelujah you are literally becoming unafanyika a slave yani una, unafanyika mtumwa to my levites kwa walawi wangu La, now let me go back a little bit wacha nirudi pale nyuma kidogo when the lord spoke with moses wakati ambapo mungu alizungumza na then he said kasema i cannot Siwezi work with you. Siwezi tembea na wewe. Unless you put aside. Ila tu uweke kando. You are gods. Miungu yenu. Your ornaments. Yaani your mi, bangles. Mapambo yenu. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the history of the Bible. Katika historia ya Biblia, the worship kuabudu was so physical. Ilikuwa ya kibin, yani ya ki mwili sana. Hallelujah. Amen. You could not go before the, the tent inside the tent of the Lord. Or in the meeting of the Lord. When you are a creeper. Hallelujah. Amen. And when you are having something 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 I don't want to mention. Hallelujah. Kama una vitu 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 nisivitaji. Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot go before the Lord. Uwezi kwenda mbele za Bwana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But there it was physical. Lakini pale ilikuwa ni yani Then we we'll, okay then when we look at this the lord said Mungu anasema now sasa now sasa you are going to be my people mnaenda kufanyika watu wangu with my identity yani na kukitambulisha changu identity kutambulika kwangu so if you really want to come with me hivyo basi kama mnataka kabisa kwenda na mimi get rid of those idols ondoa hizo miungu zenu are we talking And you have those idols with you? Na uko na hizo miungu pamoja na wewe? Here you are very beautiful. Hallelujah. But I'm saying Nasema we see in South Africa. Tunaona pale uh, Africa kusini. We kusi. see in New York. Tunaona pale New York. We see in Germany. Tunaona pale Germany. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we look at that, tunapotazama hiyo. We see that these people normally say Tunaona watu wao wanasema 
we have become religious. Tumefanyika watu wa dini. Well, it is better we become religious for our God Afadhali. than to be prostitute to please you. Afadhali tufanyike wa dini wa Mungu wetu kuliko kuwa kahaba kukupendeza. Than to be prostitute to please you. Kuliko kuwa kahaba kukupendeza. We are not ready. Hatuko tayari. Yet yeah, go and tell your pastor. Nenda ukamwambie mchungaji wako. That I have said live from Kenya. Yaani nimesema hapa kutoka Kenya. That indeed Kati, hakika you are now going to be called my people watu wangu hallelujah amen you have seen that the lord has always been replacing people tumeona kila wakati bwana amekuwa akiwabadilisha watu hallelujah hallelujah when you look at esau and jacob unapoona esau na yakobo in genesis 20 25 22 katika mwanzo 25 22 in genesis 25 24 26 just read from 25 22 and then 24 to 26 Mwanzo 25 Yes 22 Yes 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 Watoto wakashindana tumboni mwake yes. naye akasema yes. ikiwa ni hivi kuishi kwa nifaa nini <laughs> akaenda kumuuliza bwana Yes Bwana akamwambia yes. mataifa mawili yako tumboni mwako yes. na kabila mbili za watu yes. watafarakana tangu tumboni mwako yes. kabila moja litakuwa hodari kuliko la pili yes. na mkubwa atatumikia mdogo haleluya the lord here is actually changing yani wa, mahali hapa bwana yes your first son wewe ndio mzaliwa wa kwanza but from now on lakini kuanzia leo you serve your elder uta, uta mtumikia mdogo wako because when isaac came out of the womb maana isaac alipotoka katika tumbo he was actually grasping alikuwa ameshikilia the heel yani of his, his sibling alikuwa ameshikilia ndugu yake haleluya amen that is whenever you see the war that is happening between israel and other nations ndio maana ukiona vita vinavyofanyika kati ya israel na mataifa mengine it actually started in the womb ilianza katika tumbo haleluya amen because these children were actually jostling against each other yani watu hao walikuwa wanafarakana haleluya they were pushing each other walikuwa wanasukumana then the mom said ah mama akasema eh are these children or stones jeni hawa ni watoto wa mamawi haleluya Amen. So I'm going to inquire of the Lord. Ndipo basi nenda kumtafuta kutoka kwa kutafuta kutoka kwa Bwana. I'm going to inquire of the Lord. Nenda kutafuta kutoka kwa Bwana. And then the Lord gave her the prophecy. Na Bwana akampa ule unabii. He said. Akasema, two nations are in your womb. Mataifa mawili yako tumboni mwako. We see two nations right now, okay? Tunaona mataifa mawili sasa. Right now we are seeing the two nations fighting. Sasa tunaona hayo mataifa mawili And this war just began. Na hivi vita vilianza. From the womb. Kutoka kwa tumbo. Hallelujah. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Then we look at Reuben and Judah. Hivyo basi tunamtazama pia Reuben na Judah. I'm just now giving you example of those people who have been replaced by God. Yaani nakupatia mifano ya watu waliobadilishwa na Mungu. Haleluya. Haleluya. I really need to go very fast. Nahitaji kwenda kwa haraka. You are going to read Genesis. Mwanzo 49:49:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:34:
the coach of his father by sleeping with one of his father's concubines. Hallelujah. Amen. So there are consequences. We see consequences. Enormous consequences. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And then he said as, as I, I, I was actually saying we have consequences whenever the Lord replaces you. And then he said Akasema, the royal scepter yani kile, ile fimbo, utawala, fimbo. Fimbo hallelujah the royal scepter ile fimbo ya utawala, shall never depart from you kwako. hallelujah Amen. right now in Israel Hivi sasa pale in and Israeli. we see in the bible in king james the royal the, the, the one who is coming to be handed over that scepter yani tunaona yule ambaye anakuja kupewa ile fimbo is called shilo anaitwa shilo shilo is the messiah shilo ni messiah so Jacob actually prophesied that the Messiah will come from the house of Judah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You normally call the whole lion of Judah. Mm. We worship oh. you. Hallelujah. Amen. The lion of Judah that you normally worship comes from the tribe. Hallelujah. So Judah replaced uh, uh, Reuben. And then, then we see that the Lord Jehovah has exalted Judah above every tribe in Israel. All the kings from the tribe of Judah. Even the king of kings shall come from the house of Judah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, Reuben with his sexual immorality. His right. His path right. Was actually withdrawn. Did the sexual immorality. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now let me tell you people. When you look at the history of the substitutes. The substitutes. Hallelujah. Amen. You see that these people do not have any any good character. They do not have any image that is admirable to the people. They do not have Hawana. any any character that is actually 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 good. Yani they are tabia, not even role models to the society. So do not say Usiseme, Judah, Judah was a very powerful and, 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 and holy man. Mtu mkuu na when you read about his, his, his history yake, in Genesis 38 38. Hallelujah. Amen. You see trouble. Unaona shida. You see trouble. Unaona shida. You see abomination. Unaona machukizo. Because this man huyu mtu huyu slept with her with his own daughter in local Tamar. Alilala na mke wa kijana yake aitwaye Tamar. Hallelujah. Amen. Come with me. Come Unami. with me. I want to reveal this revelation to you now. Nataka kupeana ufunuo huu kwako sasa. Hallelujah. 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 We have seen that these people are actually replaced and the consequences are very heavy. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, Sasa, we are on part to the final part. Final part. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rioth. 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 Revival of truth and holiness. Amen. Ministry. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord walked the streets. He walked the streets. Then he said, I have seen my daughter glorious. So we see that the Lord walked the streets. The villages. Because when you want to adopt the, to the, the, the son or anybody, any child, you must look. Hallelujah. Amen. Where you can find that child. So the Lord descended all the way from heaven. He walked the streets of Jerusalem. Do you know whom am I speaking about? Hallelujah. Amen. Christ Jesus. Yesu Christo came. Akaja. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey. Then we are seeing. Kisha tunaona. Then he said. Alesema. Yes. Ndio. 
you are not qualified yani nyinyi hamstahili Hallelujah. Amen. But due to my grace, yangu, I have chosen you to be my representative. Now we see the representative of the Lord now emerging. Yani tunaona, wale Kristo waki you yuka. are representing the Lord in your family. Yani we Kristo yako. Representing the Lord in government offices. Kristo office za you are actually influencing yani wewe una, una the decisions of the government Positively. Yani yale, yale, yale makusudio yanafanyika pale katika njia iliyo sawa. Since your father who has ever seen Christ working the streets of Nairobi again? Nani ameona tena Kristo akitembea kwa barabara za Nairobi? Pastor Grace. Lea, have you seen the Lord working the streets of Nairobi? Je, umeona tena Yesu akitembea kwa miji ya Nairobi? And do you believe that he lives in you? Na unaamini anaishi ndani yako? I feel the presence of the Messiah in the house. Na isi uwepo wa Bwana katika nyumba. I feel the presence of my God in this house today. Isi uwepo wa Bwana wangu mahali hapa leo. Welcome my Jesus. Karibu Kristo Bwana wangu. Welcome the Lion of Judah. Karibu Simba wa Yuda. Feed this people. Wajaze watu hawa. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Now he said, e, akasema, You have become my ambassadors. Wewe umefanyika balozi wangu. Because I came Mana nini kuja, and I adopted you. Na nika ku, in the royal priesthood. Nika kuweka katika yani ile, ile familia ya ukuhani. The modern day, the modern day Christians. Yani wa Kristo wa kisasa. They normally say, Wanasema, We need to look to use makeup. Yani tunahitajika kutumia vipodozi. Eh, hey, we need to look more to, to, to look uh, royal. Yani tunahitajika kuonekana watu wa yani heshima fulani. And who told you? Nani alikwambia? That if you want to look royal, Niki unataka kuonekana katika yani go and apply hiyo. what we Thomas ornaments and all those when you see women applying lipsticks and everywhere and they just look like Jezebel and then they say we are looking royal which yeah. where, where, which royal family are you talking about wewe unazungumzia familia gani ya kiheshima hiyo now sasa let me take you to the united kingdom yes, sometimes the lord uses simple things wakati mwingine mungu anatumia vitu yani very simple tu, very simple sana. to send the message kutuma ule ujumbe to his people kwa watu wake in england we saw a very powerful wedding there. These celebrities that you normally idolize. <laughs> they did not go there as prostitutes. They had to comply with the rules of the royal house. Hey, they said. Yes, we know. Tunajua, but please when you come to our wedding harusi yetu, we have our own culture yani tuko na tamaduni yetu our tradition tamaduni yetu hallelujah 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 you have to put aside lazima uweke kando your halotar apparel yani zile mavazi zako za kikahaba then you be allowed na basi utaruhusiwa to enter kuingia in our wedding katika harusi yetu hallelujah hallelujah let me ask you people. You call yourself a royal a, 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 a daughter who comes from the royal family. But when we look at you. Oh, the heaven is morning. It is morning. Mbingu inalia. We have our culture. Tuna tamaduni yetu. In the kingdom of God. Katika ufalme wa mbingu. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How do you feel when I come at the altar of the Lord dressed in a long skirt? You run away. Unaisi vipi ukimuona mtumishi akija amevalia hey, skirt? You run away. Ha! Mtakimbia, sema hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think we need to have win win. Yaani tunapaswa kuwa in the church because if you people especially the ladies in the church. Ikiwa sana haswa mabinti kanisani. You are saying? Mnasema we can use makeup, we can use long trousers because the Lord did not actually speak about what befits a man or a woman. Tunaweza valia tunaweza tumia vipodozi ama tuvalie longi. And why did the Lord say and these people in their trousers were actually thrown in the furnace Bwana hakusema na marinda zao nyeupe Vijana hawa na marinda zao nyeupe Hallelujah Now hallelujah Let us go very quickly because of time please people Twende kwa haraka kwa ajili ya And at the tail end of this teaching I'm going kumisha. to reveal you are Part right. Because now the Lord actually you, the Lord has actually taken you to himself. You are the Lord's eyes. Hallelujah. Amen. In this earth. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord came. Bwana alikuja. Then he ran with you. Akakimbia na wewe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then he made your voice. Akafanya sauti yenu. The voice of God. Sauti ya Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me give you a testimony. There's a testimony. A, a, a woman of God came to Mombasa, Mombasa and he created some big big blessings over that area and we are seeing it happening. My sister, I honor you my sister. I honor you. Hallelujah. Amen. She told me allow me to reveal this secret. It is going to actually uh, 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 reveal who you are so that people should not actually take you as as glorious yani but uh, a servant glorious. of the lord who is actually authenticated yani kama mtumishi wa mungu ambaye hakika amepewa yale mamlaka we have gone so far from my uh, with my sister a long way we have actually come along wamepita njia refu yani wametoka mbali hallelujah amen i normally go at the airport anafika pale pa kupanda ndege to see off my friends from the us kuona warafiki zake wakienda pale marekani hallelujah amen Uh, in in England pale Uingereza in Sweden pale Sweden in Belgium pale Belgium but when she saw me at the airport lakini alipomuona pale katika ile uwanja wa ndege she said kasema today leo you will be flying hata wewe utakuwa unapaa when i was coming to nairobi alipokuwa nakuja nairobi i actually had two flights alikuwa na yani ndege mbili double booked zikiwa zote zimelipiwa hallelujah amen So I chose which plane am I going to use? Sasa nikuchagua atakuja na ndege ipi? I honor you. Amen. I honor you. Namwishimu. And I'm also going to to reciprocate. Na pia anaenda kuirudisha hiyo. In this meeting today. Na katika mkutano huu leo. Hallelujah. Amen. You did not celebrate my miracle. <laughs> Jomba. Thank you so very much my brother. Asante sana. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord honored. Bwana aliheshimu. The words of his servant. Matamshi ya mtumishi wake. And it came to pass. Na ikaja kutimia. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are going to fly. Na tunaenda kupaa. The gospel of holiness is not the gospel for wretched. Yaani injili ya utakatifu sio injili ya vitu The gospel of holiness is the real deal. Yaani injili ya utakatifu ndio injili sawa sawa. We don't ask for money. Hatutafu hatulizi mm. pesa. We don't ask for money. Mm -mm. Freely given, freely give. Yaani tumepewa bure tunapeana bure. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to tell me. Nataka mniambie. Any holiness servant. Mtumishi yote utakatifu. Who has ever posted? Ambaye ameweka pale. On social media. Pale katika That he I'm going to Germany. Ninaenda pale Ujerumani. Please pay for my flight. Tafadhali lipia yani ndege nauli ya ndege. I have never seen. Sijaona. And as surely as my God lives. Na hivyo sasa kama vile Mungu I shall never be a beggar to preach his gospel. Yaani sitakuwa wa kuombaomba kuhubiri injili yake. Hallelujah. 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 So the Lord took you. Hivyo basi Bwana akakuchukua. Then he made your voice. Akafanya sauti yako. His own voice. Sauti yake. You shall speak to the ground. Utazungumza kwa ardhi. And the ground shall obey you. Na hiyo ardhi itatisa. You shall speak to the heavens. Utazungumza kwa mbingu. And the heaven shall obey you. Na zile mbingu zitakutii. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. You shall come and command sickness. Ushakuja uamuru magonjwa. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. Under the mention of the name Jesus. Sina kutaja kwa Yesu. Oh, every knee shall bow. Kila goti litapigwa. Bow sickness. Yeye magonjwa. Bow poverty. Yaani ti magonjwa tu ile umaskini. Ufukara. Eh. Hallelujah. Amen. Bow. Inama. Kanza go. Yaani saratani ondoka. Hallelujah. Amen. And the heaven will listen to you. Nisikize. Ina mbingu itakusikiza. Hallelujah. Amen. But when we look at the, the, the doctrinal structure in the church, listen now I'm coming to you holiness subscribers. Sikiza sasa wenyi wafuata utakatifu. Moses in this scripture in this teaching. Musa katika mafundisho haya. Represent Christ Jesus. Anaonesha Kristo Yesu. In Matthew. Katika Mathayo. Because when you came he gave you let me just miss for a little bit. When you came to the Lord, Ulipo he gave mabwana. you his name. Alikupa jina lake. His identity. Yaani utambulisho wake. Then he said, Kasema, I am now going to dwell in you. Nitaenda kukaa ndani mwako. The Bible says, Biblia inasema, In Isaiah 9, katika Isaia 9, verse 
two, verse six, and to us, the son is given, and the government rests on his shoulders. You cannot speak, and the heaven obeys you without the Lord in you. You are guarding the government. Hey, wait, wait. Hey. Wait, wait. Are you listening? Are you listening? Hallelujah. Amen. And the Lord said, let me tell you people, I'm not the powerful servant. I'm just first among the equals. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, but the Lord has invested in you very powerful, powerful investment. He has given you eternity now. Hallelujah. Amen. Those are the benefits now. When he came and removed you from the world, then those are the benefits that you are enjoying as a Christian. Hallelujah. You do not have to go and slaughter a bull for the elimination of sin. Because the king came and he touched the Throne with the blood of atonement. Hey. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Lord is saying, My sons and daughters, out of the billions of people, you are so precious to me. You are so precious to me. You have been offered to me as a fast fruit. Walk in my counsel. Do not trample upon the masses of God and the grace of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now when you look at the, the doctrinal structure in the church, the, the chronology of the events in the church, you will realize that indeed the church of now, nowadays, is actually serving the Lord with other gods. With other gods. The holiness subscribers. I have come to shake you. I have come to shake you. And I'm telling you today that you mean a lot to the kingdom of God. You are the servant of the Lord here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do not fail the, the Lord. Don't push the Lord to the world to regret ever calling you. Hallelujah. 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 By then, you used to pray. God, Mungu. I'm very poor. People are mocking me. Oh, do something. Oh, my Jehovah. Hey, Jehovah wangu. Do something. Tenda kitu. But now, sasa, the Lord actually honored the very words. Yani Mungu yale manenu. You spoke in his throne room in heaven. Ulipo ya pale cha enzi. Right now, Hivi sasa, you are busy worshipping that idol called money. Sasa ile pesa. The idol called sexual immorality. Yani ile ama but remember, God came and killed the firstborns in you. Ya bwana kawala wa kwanza na the firstborn that you love. Ile wa kwanza the God that you love to worship the most. Ile then he set you apart. But right now, you are worshipping that money. Without money, you cannot love people. I see the servants of the Lord raising people based on their tribe. I see servants of the Lord in the church raising the people based on their financial status. I see the servant of the Lord raising the people According to their physical appearance, I see the servants of the Lord. Not only the servants, but the holiness servants. They have freed the idols, the idols of money and everything, worshiping the miracles, worshiping the servants of the Lord, but not the sender. But today, I have come to rebuke you. I have come to rebuke you. I have come to rebuke you. No, you are right. No, you are right. I'm reading a very powerful scripture. In Proverbs 13. Then I'm going to finish. 
Then I'm going to finish with Revelation 3.11. That's when I'm going now to reveal what is your right. Let us go there very quickly, people. You have no time. Just my sister, give me like 10 minutes. I'll be, I'll be actually finishing. I don't normally want to preach to people who are sleeping. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are reading Proverbs 13.7. It says, One man pretends to be rich. Yet has nothing. Another man, another pretends to be poor. Yet he has great wealth. A rich man doesn't actually expose himself to danger. This scripture applies to you people. You who are saying we know holiness. You who are saying we have seen visions. We have seen cripples walking. We have heard the voice of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now the Lord is saying I have invested wealth in you. Guard that wealth. Why are you fighting all the time? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was reading in the scripture where the Bible says better to live on the rooftop of the corner than to live with a quarrelsome woman. Don't you know that you are the woman, the wife to the Lord? Why are you quarreling and you expect the presence of the Lord to be in their midst? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I have, I have seen people who normally pretend to be very but they are very poor. Very, very poor. Very, very poor. Yeah. yeah they are very poor. Somebody who oh, I own this. Friend, if you visit that person, eh, 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 you, will, you will run away. You say, hey. hey. Hallelujah. Amen. Because a rich person normally knows the danger yani, mtu tajiri, anajua that comes atari. along Inayokuja. with that wealth. Then he's going to say, I've seen people saying, oh, so and so owns that. When you are rich, let people say, speculate. Yani, wata, wacha, watu Diyo, wae, but I, I see this man rich in wisdom. Yani, mtu huyu, yani, nitajiri, rich in the word. Ni, ameja, neno. But when you look at the people right now, Hino, kiangale, watu, <laughs> one pastor called me. Mchungaji moja alimuita. In, in one of the conference. Then he said, Why did you? Please, I don't, I don't know. Okay, okay. Let me just say, it. there's no problem. Hallelujah. Then he said, Kasema, You know what? Nini? I don't want that CD of revelation. I am a man. Mimi ni I'm a man Yeye with vast knowledge Ana, heki masana. under the sun. Chini ya, mm, ya jua. Surely as my God lives, I will never set my foot in that church again. Hallelujah. Amen. We are not competing. If you have, let me, let me recommend you. Can you recommend for yourself when you are applying for a job, for the job, maybe you want to become a manager somewhere? So say, actually look for somebody who will recommend you. But why are you recommending yourselves, you people? Hallelujah. Amen. My sister, we need to have a conference. God willing. Sasa, let me finish. Now I'm revealing what rightfully belongs to you. That is the last scripture, people. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Revelation 3. Verse 11. The Bible says, <laughs> I am let me read. I am coming. Hold on to what you have. So that no one will take your crown. Hey, I have revealed already. That is your right. That is your right. You will fight, fight and defend what rightfully belongs to you. If someone takes, grabs your land, you are ready to steal the blood. If somebody actually sleeps with your wife or maybe fornicates with your wife, you will shoot that person. Because you are actually defending what you love. Hallelujah. Amen. I have come to tell you here today, fight for what you have so that nobody will take your crown away. And the Lord is saying that he who overcomes 
comes I will make me I will make him a pillar in the house of my father Amen. I have revealed what belongs to you I have spoken what actually has come between you and God anything that you value the most becomes an idol to God in Colossians 3.5 don't accuse people who are worshipping idols.